people are staring at me. <laughs> sorry, I make YouTube videos. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a front handspring. Also, if you have a request for a tutorial that I haven't done, then you can comment that down below and I'll do it. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, so before learning how to do a front handspring, you should at least know how to do a handstand, a front limber, and a front walkover. And also before doing any kind of tumbling, you should always stretch first. It's really important that you stretch your legs, your wrists, your arms, your ankles, and your back before doing front handsprings. So that way you won't pull a muscle. So you can try a few of these stretches that I'm doing here. Okay, so step one is to hurdle. And this is actually very important for your front handspring because it's what gives you the power and the momentum to make it over. So first start off with your feet together and then swing your arms forward and land on the leg that you would land a handstand on. So you can actually practice this by going into a handstand and landing into a bridge and then just try to speed it up. Okay, so the next step is to block off the ground. And by blocking off the ground, what I mean by that is to like do a hop on your hands. And that's gonna give you the rebound off the ground to push up and make it over. And so if you're struggling with this, then you can try some of these drills, their handstand hop drills, and that will help you with what you're supposed to do for your front handspring. So just do a handstand and then hop off the ground. Okay, so this next tip is going to make your front handspring so much easier. Always look at your hands from the moment that you start the skill to the moment that you end it. And it's going to make it so much easier for you to get over. So yeah, you can really see the difference that it makes with your front handspring. And you can practice this by doing front walkovers and trying to look at your hands all the way through the skill. So the last step is to arch your back and land on the ground. So arching your back is going to get your feet closer to the ground and it's going to make it easier to land. So the more back flexibility that you have, the easier that the skill will be. So just make sure that you're staying really tight as soon as your feet touch the ground so that way you won't fall backwards. So if this video helped, make sure that you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I have a quick little announcement. I want to tell you guys about this new app. It's called Team Snap. So the cool thing about this app is that it allows you to keep track of your sports team, whether you're a coach, team member, or a parent. And so you can just register if you're a team member and you can look for your team. Or if you're a coach, then you can manage everything. So it allows you to keep a roster so you can keep track of who's on your team and all of their information, such as their contact information and all of that. And so it's a really cool way of keeping everything on your team organized and keeping track of everything. And another thing that you can do is set up a schedule so you can add an event or a game and you can tell everyone on the team when you want them to be there, what uniform to wear, if they have to come early or not. And it's just really cool. And so I know a lot of sports teams use GroupMe to keep in contact with everyone on the team, but this app actually has a team chat to where you can do that. Okay, so another thing that you can do is share photos and files and you can also keep track of payments to see who on the team hasn't paid and who has paid. So it's a really nice way of staying organized. So yeah, download Team Snap in the App Store now and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Like and comment on this video and follow me on my social media.